Statewide Phone Card Corporation. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. to plan your day. Get the weather information you need from Marshall Cease and Heather Tesh, including your local forecast on the 8th. Tune into Your Weather Today, weekday mornings from 7 till 9 Eastern on the Weather Channel. Blizzard conditions in the nation's capital and throughout the east. Snow is piling up as a storm sweeps through the northeast. And it's a state of emergency in the Washington area as the city gets set for 8 to 12 inches of snow. Schools are shut down, airports delayed, and some roads are closed. We'll tell you what's headed your way. And here in New York City, our snow has changed over to sleet. We'll have more conditions, plus a look at how the airports are handling this next in a live report. Hello and welcome to this edition of Weather Center, sponsored by Nationwide. It is 10.30 Eastern, 9.30 Central. I'm Heather Tesh. And I'm Marshall Seas. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. The northeast blizzard is upon us. Heavy snow and high winds are moving fast up the northeast coast. It's bad news if you have to be outside for today. The heavy snow is already having quite an impact from the Carolinas to New England. Here's a look at the projected impact of the blizzard. Expect some very hazardous driving conditions. Also expect major delays at the airport. You'll want to check ahead as the snow continues to shut down runways and many flights are canceled. Several schools are closed too and government offices in D.C., Philadelphia and other cities are also closed. Now for a closer look at the Northeast and how it's going to affect you, here's Heather. And snow continues to come down here in the Northeast and as Kristen was just saying, now unfortunately we're seeing some mixing taking place in some areas and in New York City that includes LaGuardia and JFK, we have areas where we have sleet and freezing rain mixing in with some of the snowfall. Boston, you'll also notice some of the mixing taking place in here. An unfortunate situation when you have snow on the ground, then you see some of the icy precipitation and eventually we'll see more snow coming down on top of that. That will lead to major problems on the roadways and also at the airports. Here's what we're looking at for snow totals. Nothing to fool around with here. Many places where you see the lighter purple picking up 6 to 12 inches of snowfall. And some pockets in here will pick up more than a foot of snowfall. Notice that around New York City, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., we could pick upward to a foot of snowfall for you. Not quite as much for you in Boston, but again, you're going to have more of the icy precipitation. Washington, D.C., virtually shut down in a state of emergency. Baltimore, major problems in here. Many places are shut down as well. Philadelphia, we still have big problems in here and big problems in New York City stretching up toward Boston. We'll continue to watch this low riding a little bit more to the north and again some mixing taking place and then everything changing back over to snow as we head through tomorrow morning and the system continues to pull away. We have crews that are standing alive right now in the storm system including our own Kristen Dodd who is in New York City. Kristen, what's it like right now? Freezing rain coming down? 
and sleet? That's, well, we have had snow earlier and it was heavy at times, but now with a little bit more warm air working in in the mid levels of the atmosphere, we've been seeing our precipitation fall more in the form of sleet and even a little bit of rainfall. Now, the road conditions have actually improved with that warmer air. As you can see, now they are wet with a little bit of slush on them as opposed to snow packed. This is Grand Central Parkway and cars are moving along at or above the uh, speed limit. Behind me also is LaGuardia and we've been watching those same three uh, fins of the planes all morning long as LaGuardia is shut down. They also have the plows that are now clearing the parking lots in anticipation of the airport reopening and we expect to see the airport to reopen at 11 o'clock this morning. We're down to still one one runway at JFK and also in Newark and big delays at those airports. It's going to be a tough day for any type of air travel. Now this is the effect of some of that rain and the cold temperatures. We have freezing rain and if you left your car out all night long you're going to have to do a lot of scraping if you're planning on heading anywhere today. Now let's get more on this winter storm with our winter weather expert Paul Cosen. Good morning. Our storm system is currently really wrapped up off the Virginia coastline. It looks like the heaviest snows will continue most of the afternoon across a good portion of Virginia, Maryland, as well as even portions of North Carolina and South Carolina should be ending. If we look at the current radar, we can see a lot of, this is our major band right now across eastern Virginia, straddles I-95. But look all the elements coming, uh, radar elements coming in off the Atlantic. That's going to be filling in some of the snow and sleet across some of the eastern shore as well. Um, it's going to be quite a different story as we go to the north because this band is beginning to break up as we head towards New York City. And what we're seeing is some drier air moving in in the middle of portions of the atmosphere. So we're only seeing light occasionally mixed precipitation throughout with the heaviest snowfall back to the southwest and still across portions of northeastern Pennsylvania and now across eastern Massachusetts as well. We'll see this uh, mixed precipitation continuing across New York, but the real focus of the weather is going to be the heavy snows continuing from Philadelphia down southwards towards Baltimore and Washington, where we're going to see accumulations possibly up to as high as 15 inches in that area. So stay tuned. We'll have updates uh, throughout the morning. Now let's go back to Marshall. Thanks a lot, Paul. Just talked to a friend of the Weather Channel's in Myrtle Beach where he indicated there's about three inches of snow on the ground. Uh, roads have been uh, bad early this morning. There's been some accidents there as well as that snow is coming down at a quarter of a mile. Visibility and heavy snow. He says it looks like it's winding down right now and radar is showing that same kind of an impact. But to the north in North Carolina, it's still snowing where we've got over 17 inches of snow in the Raleigh-Durham area. Our thanks to Carol Armstrong for that report. As this cold, ha cold air heads to the east, it's going to reinforce cold air at the surface, where it is currently in Atlanta about 25 degrees, and Nashville sitting about 20. Look at this, Raleigh Durham's 29 degrees right now, snow on the ground, wind chill at 12. It's a day to stay inside. Now, there could be some trees and power lines down here, too. Travel not recommended. Uh, hope you have all those Y2K preparation and safety packages that uh, you all got at the beginning of the millennium, because you can certainly use them today. How about the upper Midwest? Here's Heather. And in the upper Midwest for today, we are looking at some tough conditions as well for you. For Minneapolis today, it's just going to be a chilly day, but seasonably cold for you. You're used to it at this time of the year. 16. Chicago, cold for you. 15. And same with you in Green Bay this morning. But when you factor the winds in, it's going to be even harsher. We have below zero wind chill factors through here for Minneapolis, Green Bay, and Chicago, where it's in the teens below zero. Fairly quiet through Minnesota and also the Dakotas stretching through the plains. But we are watching some areas here, too, with some snowfall. This includes Michigan and also Indiana and Ohio. We'll be picking up some snowfall fall today. The lake effect machine will kick in as we continue to push through the day and we're going to see more of the snow coming down right on through the evening hours and places like Gary, Indiana, probably about 6 to 12 inches of snowfall for you as we head into tomorrow morning. So again, this is nothing to fool around with either. Also Cleveland, Detroit picking up some snowfall for you. UP of Michigan will be picking up snowfall. Behind it, high pressure is in charge, so fairly quiet conditions in Minneapolis, but again a chilly day, 19. Omaha and Kansas City, chilly for you with temperatures today in the 20s. Marshall? 
West Coast is getting some rain, also getting some snow. Torrance, California, reporting moderate rain right now. Uh, they need the rain in Southern California. It looks like Burbank and Riverside, San Bernardino, down to Tustin, Santa Ana, Orange County, all getting some beneficial rains. And we're getting some beneficial snows out in the Sierra, too. Now, the snow levels are going to be pretty high. We're talking above 6,000, 6,500 feet here, maybe even seven, where we could see an excess of well, over the last couple of days, probably in excess of three feet in some cases, if you tally it all up over the last couple of days. And there's some needed snow for some of the ski resorts out here. Meanwhile, to the north, Washington and Oregon, you'll see some rain showers all day long today. And then this presses eastward, and that's going to be part of the next weather scenario for the southeast and the potential for icy conditions coming up toward the end of the week. We'll have more on that coming up on Stormwatch. Also, on the uh, traveler uh, Travel-Wise coming up in just a second. Meanwhile, here's what you're looking at. Best place to be today, Phoenix, 79 degrees and some sunshine. The rest of the West, pretty inclement. Now for the forecast, here's Heather. So a wet day for you in the West and the snow continues to pile up in the East with many places picking up 6 to 12 inches of snowfall and where you see some of that darker purple, the tiny little slots here, that's where we're going to pick up more than 12 inches of snowfall. We will be watching the system as it continues to crank up, moving more to the north through the day. Again, some milder conditions moving in with this system and we are seeing some areas with some freezing rain and some sleet. That includes New York City, Boston, you're seeing some of that. And then eventually as we head into tomorrow, Tomorrow morning, you're going to see this changing back over to snow. So keep in mind, Boston, you're going to have snow around for the morning commute, and this is going to come on top of some of that frozen precipitation, which came on top of some snow. So that means it is going to be very treacherous on the roadways tomorrow. If you don't have to go out today and tomorrow, I would advise staying home for you. It is going to be extremely dangerous out there on the roadways. There have been numerous accidents up and down the East Coast because of the snowfall and also because of the mixed precipitation. We urge you to take it easy as we move through the next 24 to say even 48 hours. That's right. We can take it to New York City right now. Show you what it looks like. Clearing some snow.